Um, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for um, arranging the time slot, and uh, thank you for um, giving us the time for this um, presentation. And uh, we'd like to quickly introduce our uh, recent activities to uh, solve this problem uh, that we described in this title. How can we revocate the legacy telecom infrastructure for cloud native? And uh, let me introduce briefly our, our, ourselves. Uh, we are the biggest um, telecommunication company in Japan, and uh, we are mainly focusing on using OSSs to solve this kind of problem. And uh, today, I, well, uh, the, the, what we want to talk today is uh, already de described here, and uh, uh, we want to uh, explain our solution that uh, solve this problem. And uh, the very solution for us is uh, making an adapter between the cloud native projects and uh, telecommunication infrastructures like uh, Mano, as you may know. And the, we are working on making that adapter called Attacker in OpenStack. So let me introduce it briefly. So Yasumi-san, please. Hi, my name is Yasuhumi Oyawa. So I'd like to uh, introduce uh, our background first. So we have uh, several challenges uh, for migrating uh, legacy telecom infrastructure on mixed environment on VM and the cloud native architecture. The below uh, diagram shows the uh, simple use case. So there, is, uh, there are uh, containers or VMs uh, around there and it manages from uh, OpenStack or uh, Kubernetes as a uh, virtualization uh, infra uh, manager. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's also uh, uh, controlled from uh, uh, VNFM uh, feature, uh, which is for virtual network function manager. And uh, this, this is uh, just a typical uh, uh, challenge for us, uh, for example, uh, how to shift VMs where legacy applications are uh, just uh, crammed into containers, or uh, how to introduce a web structural management plan for uh, both VNFM uh, and the CNF or so. And uh, definitely, uh, generic uh, VNFM is the key feature. So, for uh, realizing uh, such uh, requirements, uh, we have uh, contribu contributed uh, OpenStack Tucker, which is uh, uh, one of the uh, major projects in OpenStack. And uh, uh, its own uh, features for uh, controlling uh, uh, VNFs. And so, uh, Orchestrating uh, virtual telecom infrastructure is, for example, uh, managing physical virtual machines and containers, or uh, virtualized network and applications ranging from uh, core to VLAN. So we have uh, several uh, use cases uh, trying to adapt tech uh, for them, and this is one of them: is uh, VLAN. Uh, on uh, Kubernetes cluster with Tucker. So there are uh, many components uh, managed from Tucker. It's uh, uh, VDU or VCU. VDU is for a virtualized uh, distributed unit, and VCU is a virtualized uh, control, uh, control unit. So. Uh, so Tucker managed uh, all of the, these features uh, as a centric uh, control plane. And the uh, definition of uh, s such a uh, managed uh, platform is given as uh, packages uh, called as a VNF package via auto interface. Uh, it includes, uh, Helm, for example, Helm chart or uh, manifest or uh, uh, management driver of Tucker. And also, Tucker team has uh, contributed to Aura uh, to handle uh, lifecycle management, VDU and VCU. 
and Aura is an uh, alliance uh, joining um, uh, several uh, telecom operators or vendors for, uh, around the world uh, to realize uh, such a uh, VNF world. And yeah, um, so uh, so uh, this slide is uh, just showing uh, one of the, our challenges, recent challenges in uh, Oran community uh, is uh, managing the uh, starting X from Taka. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Sumi san. Um, uh, we're going to show a quick demo. Uh, to describe how Taka control the old Kubernetes resources. Um, as as uh, Yasmisen said, um, the, uh, there, there are many cloud native projects and uh, we can use that directly, but there, there is no common interface to use that. So we want to make adapter to abstract those different cloud native projects. That, we, that is Tucker. And uh, uh, we will show the Tucker make those old components uh, with HNF with standard uh, compliant uh, interface. Okay. Okay, this is the ancient state. There are no clusters. And the first Tucker make uh, uh, Kubernetes cluster on edge site. So this demo shows the Tucker Maker two site edge and cloud, and they're now Tucker making their edge site Kubernetes cluster with cluster API. And the cluster is created, and their authorization con configuration is sent to client side. And their Tucker has their custom driver to achieve this kind of uh, brief provisioning like uh, sending or um, con Kube config or something like that. And now Tucker scale out the edge site cluster with cluster API. So now the worker nodes is scaled out from one to two. Then our Tucker, uh, now we show the Tucker upgrade the uh, Kubernetes version on the cloud site. And the version is upgraded. Um, so uh, there are two clusters already uh, set set up, and uh, we up, up, uh, we deploy the application on that cluster, and we use a machine learning um, application called the Seldon as an example here. And uh, we can see the edge can access to the cloud application. So Tucker control all of those things with the common interface. And then terminate all things. And uh, like I said, we can do this with uh, our Kubernetes uh, projects like a cluster API, Kubernetes itself, and Helm, but there, uh, there is no common interface which is suitable for the telecommunication company. So we make a tracker as an uh, adapter, like I said, uh, over and over again. So that's all for, my, uh, for, for us. Thank you very much. <laughs>